Plantigrade. In terrestrial animals, plantigrade locomotion means walking with the toes and metatarsals flat on the ground. It is one of three forms of locomotion adopted by terrestrial mammals. The other options are digitigrade, walking on the toes with the heel and wrist permanently raised and undulates, walking on the nail or nails of the toes, the hoof with the heel slash wrist, and the digits permanently raised. The leg of a plantigrade mammal includes the bones of the upper leg femur slash humerus and lower leg tibia, and fibula slash radius and ulna. The leg of a digitigrade mammal also includes the metatarsals slash metacarpals, the bones that, in a human, compose the arch of the foot and the palm of the hand. The leg of an ungulagrade mammal also includes the phalanges, the finger and toe bones. Among extinct animals, most early mammals such as pantodonts were plantigrade. A plantigrade foot is the primitive condition for mammals. Digitigrade and ungulagrade locomotion evolved later. Among archosaurs, the pterosaurs were partially plantigrade and walked on the whole of the hind foot and the fingers of the hand wing. List of plantigrade mammals. Plantigrade mammal species include but are not limited to. Some primates, including humans. Carnivora. Aeluridae, red pandas. Mustaloidea, skunks, raccoons, weasels, badgers. Bears. Barbarophiles. Rodents, mice, rats, porcupines. Lagomorphs, rabbits. Hedgehogs. Hyraxes. Marsupialia, kangaroos, opossums. Evolution. The primary advantages of a plantigrade foot are stability and weight-bearing ability. Plantigrade feet have the largest surface area. The primary disadvantage of a plantigrade foot is speed. With more bones and joints in the foot, the leg is both shorter and heavier at the far end, which makes it difficult to move rapidly. In humans and other great apes, Another possible advantage of a plantigrade foot is that it may enhance fighting performance by providing a more powerful stance for striking and grappling. Plantigrade foot occurs normally in humans in static postures of standing and sitting. It should also occur normally in gait walking. Hypertonicity, spasticity, clonus, limited range of motion, abnormal flexion neural pattern, and a plantar flexor calf muscle contracture, as well as some forms of footwear such as high-heeled shoes may contribute to an individual only standing and slash or walking on his or her toes. It would be evident by the observable heel rise. <laughs> references equals <laughs> equals.